Hello everyone, my name's Anthony Cummins and this is a message for all Aikido students. Now I want to reach out to you and ask for your help. I have a goal and that goal is to correct and uh, promote historical Japanese warfare and historical Japanese culture. Now the reason I want to talk to Aikido students is because not to stereotype but on the whole, Aikido students tend to be intellectual and tend to enjoy uh, Japanese culture and the Japanese arts. Now, what I'm trying to do is correct the image of the samurai and even the image of the ninja. One question came up when I was younger and it was, what do the samurai actually do? We know where they were, we know what the clans were doing, but I asked, apart from swordsmanship and spearsmanship, what do the samurai actually do? So I went on a crusade to find this information. I found a series of documents and we have been translating and publishing these documents worldwide for uh, Japanese martial arts enthusiasts to read. The main one I came across was a school called Natori Ryu and this was a series of about 25 to 30 scrolls on historical samurai ways. Now we've published this, this is the Book of Samurai. Now this is book one, there will be eight of these books approximately and in here is going to be the collected teachings of the samurai from beginning, from the fundamental teachings all the way to being a general and a lord, including the ways of the ninja. These were written in the mid-1600s and are found in universities in Japan. We have translated them and published them. They're being published by Watkins. So what I want to do is I want to ask Aikido students uh, to basically help me promote and save Japanese culture. Now, the way you can do this is A, by obviously reading the material, but B, by showing other people it exists and by digesting it and by talking about it on the internet, using your blogs, using your classes to go through everything that the samurai offered. These books are not martial arts books. They're something called gungaku, which means military study. They're all the things outside of the martial arts that a samurai needs to know and it's a lot of things and it's going to be about this big so it's a lot of things outside of just the martial arts that true samurai warriors had to know. The reason I'm saying this is because it will not interfere with your Aikido training. It goes alongside it. You don't have to replace Aikido with Gungaku. Gungaku will run alongside your Aikido and build your knowledge of Japan and build uh, basically on all the things in life that you require. It's a great series of techniques that you can even apply today but on the whole it shows us what the samurai were really doing. Now this is the samurai ways. It will include a little bit of ninjutsu but what I want to do today is I want to tell the Aikido people out there that the ninjutsu that you think you know or that you've seen on the internet is not real. Um, there are many students of ninjutsu around the world who practice a form of hand-to-hand -hand combat. This was invented in the 20th century. Another book we did with Watkins was this. It's called The Book of Ninja. This was written in 1676 by a man called Fujibayashi and it's called the Bansen Shukai. It may seem strange that I'm asking Aikido people to read about ninjutsu, but what you need to understand is that ninjutsu is not a form of hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's a very complicated and very intellectual set of espionage. They were the spies of Japan and the commandos. It took really clever people to be able to perform ninjutsu, which is known as shinobi no jutsu. So I'm asking again, again it's a lot of information, and this isn't the only book, uh, the only scrolls we've translated on ninjutsu. I'm asking for Aikido people to get involved and help share the reality of Japanese culture. So, what can you do to help? Basically, please uh, get involved with the scrolls and the books we are writing. I'm putting this information out there so that we can really help support Japanese culture. In addition to this, you can click the links below. I'm going to put all the information you need in the links below there. And lastly, 
what I want you to do is spread the word. Read the books, get the links, get the free downloads, and then have a look at what you enjoy and help spread the word of Natoru and historical ninjutsu. Because in the end, I want the Japanese arts to be respected. I feel that Aikido, Japanese martial arts are just not respected today in the martial arts world. And it's a big and long complicated story. But to help get that respect back, I want people to understand that the samurai were highly intellectual and they were highly dangerous people who understood a lot about human philosophy and human psychology. My name's Anthony Cummins, visit the links below, come see me on my channels and hopefully I'll see you all soon.